To gain followers on Instagram or any social media, one thing is crucial that you understand. It's not a number. That number represents people. And the reason those people decided to follow you is incredibly important. And it will be the reason that other people decide to follow. This is where most people make the biggest mistake that you can make when you're building your following. Now understand this, okay? A viral video in most cases happens by chance. It's like winning the lottery. Now, I want you to imagine this. Is winning the lottery a good thing? Yes, it is. It's a very good thing. Winning the lottery can set you up for life. It's amazing, you know, for the people that do win. However, for how good it is, how often is winning the lottery spoken about in careers advice? It's just not. If you went to a careers advisor and they said, sounds like you need to win the lottery, you probably wouldn't hang around for very much longer. And that's because it's bad advice. Now, a viral post happens more often to people than winning the lottery. And just so we're clear, by viral, I'm talking about a video or a post that has vastly more views than normal. Not the old kind of viral where people would actually share it and it would spread through people like a virus. I'm talking about now where things get disproportionate views. So you might have a thousand subscribers, but one of your pieces of content gets a million views. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this next part is something you need to understand if you want to grow on any social media. Here are two examples, okay? First, and these are real, I posted a video on a small account with a thousand subscribers, which got 60,000 views. This is more than 60 times my following, okay? I tried to replicate this, but I couldn't figure out what made this go viral. I felt like it was pure chance and I couldn't replicate it. Secondly, I posted another video on a bigger Instagram account that got 20,000 views, which was only a little bit more than my following but I knew why it got views. It's because it was pretty good and it was targeted at the people that were following me. So I did it again and got the same results. And I did it again and got the same results. I could repeat it. Now be honest, which of these should I invest my time into? It probably sounds pretty obvious now that I've laid it out like that. But if you guessed the second one, you are correct. You need to be investing yourself into consistent content that works for you and connects you with the type of person that will enjoy the content that you want to make long term. This is why playing the lottery is bad career advice, because it's unpredictable, it's unrepeatable, and will basically never happen to most people. But what if it does? What if you end up with a viral video? And what I'm about to tell you can save you from destroying your account. So I think we can agree that the best way to build a following is to create consistent content that connects with the right kind of follower that wants to watch what you want to make. And let's say you've been doing that and you've grown to 10,000 followers. Then just for the sake of explaining this principle, let's say you got a new games console, okay? And you make some content around a hack you found in a brand new video game. That will probably go viral. New video game, massive audience, and it's just come out. It gets a million views and you gain 20,000 followers. Amazing, you've tripled your following. So what happens when you start posting your normal content? The views will be disappointing and you will feel it you'll start thinking, hold on a minute, I got a million views on this one. Most of those new followers will not be interested in what you were doing before, but they just hit the follow button because they liked that one piece of content. So you post some more videos about that new game to try and get a million views again, and it gets some views more than your other content, so you keep doing it for a bit until that game is no longer the new thing, and those views disappear. Then let's say you go back to posting your old content, but most of those old followers have actually unfollowed because they weren't interested. You've split your audience and now the algorithms don't really know what to do with your content. This may sound really obvious when I lay it out like this, but this happens all the time. It happens to me, it happens to most creators on some scale. Now, how can you stop this happening? How can you stop a viral video being the reason that your account stops getting views? Now, this is the true meaning of consistency. Consistency isn't about showing up every day or every week. It's about being the same thing for the people that you are connecting with over and over again. It's about trust, reliability. So that if that one post of yours happens to align with a trending topic and you get a million views and loads of new followers, those people will enjoy your old content. We haven't got the luxury today of being just ourselves on social media. We aren't even just our highlight reel anymore. You are the things that the algorithm picks and you can protect yourself against this, okay? And this is what I do and this is what I recommend to you. Ask yourself this every time you're gonna post, will the people that watch this be interested in my normal content? 
And that normal content is something that you really want to make or that you have some sense of passion about. If you make that a cornerstone of your content creation, you will have one of the most important pieces in place to protect yourself going forward, but also to make it much easier for you to be truly consistent and passionate about what it is that you want to express online. Now, it might sound overdramatic, but if you do this, numbers on social media, so followers, likes, whatever it is that's important to you is guaranteed. It just becomes a matter of time. There are those people out there and the algorithms are trying to connect you with those people, the people that want to watch what you want to make. It's just how easy do you want to make it for these algorithms to connect you together? That's how this works. I really hope that the way I've explained this video has connected with you, because I don't think there's another way of explaining it. I've tried to simplify it. I've had this idea to talk about this for years, and I thought, no, it's probably a too complicated subject for the algorithm to swallow up. So I probably have to give it some kind of big impactful title, we'll see. But this is really important when it comes to you framing your idea for social media. And there's probably a lot of people out there, maybe some of you are watching this being like, hey, it's just social media. But the point is, is that we humans, we want to express ourselves. And right now, the way that people express themselves is through social media. It used to be vastly through music and other types of media, but more and more, humans are finding that our connection is being made through social media. And there's a lot more space for you being yourself than I think most people give credit for. So what is the takeaway from this video? Make it very easy for the algorithms to connect you with the people that you want to reach and make it easy for the people that you want to reach to understand what it is that you want to make. If that resonated with you, hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed, hit subscribe. But if not, no worries, I'll catch the ones that do in the next video.